All right, welcome everyone. This is going to be a great interview for you if you are a parent who knows that veggies are important, but your child might not think the same thing because I have Monica Irwin, an amazing host with me today. She's the creator of Veggie Buds Club, which is actually a hands-on program that teaches your child to learn to love a new veggie each and every month um, using games, using crafts, using recipes, and more. What I love about it is that it's an interactive approach. So welcome, Monica. So excited to have you here today. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So I'm curious, how did you get started with something like Veggie Buds Club? Sure. So I'll try to keep it pretty concise, mm -hmm. but there's a whole history to Veggie Buds Club. So many years ago, about 12 years ago, I was a community-supported agriculture farmer here in Northfield, which is where I live. And I found that many of my members had young children. And so I developed this curriculum around a different vegetable every week that they picked up at our farm. And the parents loved it. The children loved it. They were more likely to eat the said vegetable that was in season because of um, the crafts and the learning and the cooking piece that went along with it. So I took that a little further and developed a program that was offered at farmers markets and community supported agriculture farms across the country for a few years. It was called Budding Farmers mm. and it fun and robust and I loved it. And then I had kids, so it kind of went on pause for a little bit. Um, but fast forward a few years and I have my daughter who at that time is three years old and she is a little bit picky. So I was working full time um, at that moment and I'd come home, we'd make dinner and she, you know, it was like, eat your vegetables. There wasn't much more that I was doing except saying, you know, eat what's on your plate and then you can have dessert, that kind of piece, which we've all done and it's totally okay. Um, but at that moment, this light bulb went off in my head and I was like, wait a second, I have this whole curriculum that I developed years ago that made veggies fun for these other kids and I should try it on my own daughter now and it worked. So it wasn't just eat your vegetables. It was like, oh, let's get these books about veggies at the library and read about them tonight. And we can do this little craft project. And then, you know, why don't you try a little bit of spinach? And it worked for her. And I just dove deep and I created this product called Veggie Buds Club so that other parents in possibly a similar situation could try it with their own children at home. That's... And that is the history of the Veggie Buds Club. I love and now that. I've, I've, yeah. A couple of years in now. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's a great story. It reminds me when I was in chiropractic school, a friend and I split a CSA and it was the first time we had ever done it. So if you're not familiar with that, the community supported ag agriculture, you sign up for the growing season and you get a box. We had one every week and it would come with all these different vegetables and there'd be like carrots or beans or lettuce that I was used to eating. But every once in a while, there'd be this veggie in there that I'd never seen before. And it was always fun because it usually came then with like some sort of recipe. And it allowed me to experiment with a veggie. I would never, if I went through the grocery store, I would never pick that veggie out. Um, but because yeah. it got chipped or picked up and it was at my door in my fridge, like I had to come up with a way to eat it. So I love that it's doing this for kids to not only get them you know experience with something healthy but such a variety of things because our bodies need a good variety of nutrients as well and setting them up if they taste it when they're young they're going to be more likely to eat it when they're older it's a fantastic exactly. program yeah, yeah. all of that exposure yeah mm -hmm. i love that totally. so what are some of you know the the moms and dads out there that choose to jump into veggie buds club what are, are there other challenges they're experiencing or other tendencies? Like what kind of ideal um, person do you like to serve with Veggie Buds Club? Sure. Uh, I feel like the parents and the grandparents who mm -hmm. subscribe to Veggie Buds Club really run the gamut. Some of them have very picky eaters, and so they're looking for a different type of solution to uh, try to take on this this issue that they're having. Some of them are uh, super veggie lovers anyways, and they want to just do more fun um, activities with vegetables other than just cooking them. You know, so some have these kids who they cook with all the time and they love their vegetables, but they're like, hey, we could do crafts and we can learn how to 
grow this vegetable in a container garden in our kitchen together. So it's a, a way to um, go beyond just the kitchen and just the, the plate at the dinner table. Um, and I also feel like there's stay-at-home parents and full-time working parents. And so Veggie Buds Club is geared towards three to six-year-olds. Okay. And so the, those are the pre-K years when you're getting your first major exposures to all of these different flavors. And if you're at home with your children, a lot of times it's real nice to save these activities for like your three-year-old while your one-year-old sister is taking a nap. So it's a fun um, kind of lands at your doorstep uh, activity that's already pre-planned for you that you can do every afternoon with your child. Um, so there's that. And then there's the working parent who... Um, you know, reads through their booklet of all these different activities for the month and hypes up this veggie for their child. And they're like, when I get home from work, we're going to play this pumpkin game and read this five little pumpkin books. And then on Saturday, we'll bake those pumpkin donuts together. You know, so there's, you can really um, kind of mix and match and work on these activities over the course of the month in whatever way matches your lifestyle. Um, awesome. And do you ever find that kids, maybe the first time or two, they're playing with their vegetables, but because they have a way of a craft to build with them or a game to play with them, maybe they don't try it right away, but because they got mm -hmm. that exposure, all of a sudden they're trying it later on, the second time or third time they see the veggie? Yes, that's the idea, is that you're not going to do a craft and they're going to immediately want to eat their beans, <laughs> um, but you might be playing with beans. So like for bean month, we have this tic-tac-toe game where you take uh, four green beans and make a tic-tac-toe board and then use dry beans for the X's and the O's. Um, so you can prep the tic-tac-toe board together. They can like snap the bean ends, build the board. Maybe they stick their finger in their mouth and they get a little bit of that bean flavor. So it's just those tactile um, experiences can lead to accepting beans on their dinner mm -hmm. plates and and there's so many different forms that these vegetables can come in too so with our recipes each month it's not just eat some fresh green beans it's like oh you could also um you know chop them up and put them in like a fritter or you can make a bean fritter or you can eat like dry bean you know you can eat black bean soup instead of fresh green beans so you can kind of play with different you know fresh or cooked or mushy or crunchy mm. all these different ways that you can try your vegetables that's great we yeah. in our office we see a lot of families whose kids have sensory challenges and they might be sensitive to a crunch but not to a mush or maybe they don't like mushy but they like crunchy and i think mm. those options are great to allow a child to get the veggie in the form that is going to best suit them right yeah and it's all a process you know, you may only want to have smoothies with vegetables in them for a couple of years, but if you keep trying and if you make veggies fun, you know, down the road, then, right. then they'll yeah. be willing to get in a new form. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I bet, especially in today's day and age, we're in such, you know, fast paced society, always on the move, go, go, go. And sometimes I think we lose touch with our food of where it came from or what does it take to prepare it or that level of interaction. I know a lot with digestion when you smell the food being made whether it's from the stove or the oven or chopping it up as soon as you smell it your digestion is actually starting to make some enzymes and digestive uh, things that are going to help out in when you actually eat that food so i i just love that it's getting the child interacting with food on a whole new level yes mm -hmm. yeah exactly there's um this is not totally vegetable related, but the other day I was at the grocery store. I, I come from, I'm from Chicago, so deep dish pizza. And I saw a deep dish pizza in the freezer aisle and I just started salivating. You know, like you just, it's just funny how mm -hmm. emotional food is, you know, whether it's a deep dish pizza or, or if it's a vegetable. Right. It's, um, yeah, it's just fun. And one thing that we really do focus on is having your children help you prepare mm -hmm. these vegetables. That I I have found um, when I was a farmer, it was having the children in the field picking the vegetables. Mm -hmm. You know, that very powerful in itself to pick a, a sugar snap pea off the vine and eat it and see how delicious it is um, there and being a part of that. Mm -hmm. um, but then 
take it into the kitchen and they may make something with you, like one of the recipes that we feature, and they may not necessarily like it, but they might try it. And so that is, is part of it too. Like I said, getting a little bit of it on your fingers, helping prep it. Um, my three-year-old son loves when we bust out the food processor, you know, just getting to buzz something up is a thing. And it's the idea of Veggie Buds Club is just to make vegetables this daily occurrence. They're just this normal thing, um, but we can make them fun and you can help prep them and eat them. So it's kind of a low pressure um, type way to mm-hmm. get excited about veggies. Definitely. Yeah. And giving a child's brain, like you said, with the emotional piece, like a positive emotional interaction. Um, just like you said with a deep dish pizza, there's your brain remembers good memories around it, right? So you start salivating. And I picture a lot of kids, if they're being forced to eat your veggies, eat your veggies, eat your veggies, all of a sudden they get a little bit mm-hmm. older when they now have a choice of what they're going to eat or not eat. And if their only memory is being forced fed them, at the dinner table, but not really interacting in the whole process, it's going to affect their taste buds down the road just because of how the brain processes and emotion and holds onto it for so long. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So awesome. Yeah. It's part of the full cycle right in front of me. I'm going to grab something real fast. Okay. Um, here's a, like a bean plant that me and my son mm-hmm. have been growing mm-hmm. and he, it's not going to produce beans because we live in Minnesota, you know, and it's already almost October, but he can't wait for it to make beans. And he's mm-hmm. totally like we were at the grocery store and he was like, uh, he wanted to buy some beans, mm-hmm. you know? So like right. those he's too hearkening back to when I was in the field. Definitely. It, it's fun. Yeah. Great. So. so what does it look like as a subscriber to veggie buds club? What do they get? in the mail every month sure so every month um there's there's two options and so we create this 30 page digital ebook so every month on the first of the month in your inbox you get this resource at your fingertips that has um, the recipes the crafts the games the activity pages like coloring sheets sticker pages we have a pediatric dietitian that we work with that writes a tip sheet for parents on different techniques to try to introduce the veggie of the month. Um, so there's that that component. So you don't have to think about it. You just get this, this booklet. You can choose to view it on your device or print it, and it's there, and you can follow it with us throughout the month. Um, so everyone who subscribes get this, gets this digital ebook, and then there's also the option to get a mailer mm-hmm. as well. So on about the first of the month, you get a package in the mail that has the specialty craft supplies, the organic seeds for the growing projects, a veggie temporary tattoo, and a little button, um, different incentives to get your kids excited about vegetables. Um, so there's there's these two uh, pieces that you get. And October's pumpkins, of course, so we're trying to make pumpkins tasty for kids, not just spooky. Um, <laughs> and so if you sign up then on the first, you get 30 pages of pumpkin activities plus this mailer okay. in your in your mailbox and kids when they get special mail it really mm-hmm. it's really exciting. so just getting that piece of mail makes a big difference too Absolutely. they feel special then they do. I, i'm thinking back to when i as a kid pumpkin pie was always the pie i didn't like now as an adult i like it but it's it was an acquired yeah. taste that maybe if i would have had this in my octobers as a kid i would have liked my pumpkin pie a little bit earlier on. Yeah, and there's some, we have sweet and savory recipes featured. So we okay. have this like one pump, one pot pumpkin pasta that's mm-hmm. real yummy, pumpkin mac and cheese, pumpkin donuts, but baked pumpkin yummy. donuts, lower sugar, and they're okay. delicious. <laughs> Sounds tasty. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. So as we're wrapping up then, Monica, what is the, and we'll put it in the comments below, but if someone's interested in finding out more, what's the best way to get a hold of you or look into Veggie Buds Club? Sure. You can just visit our website, veggiebudsclub.com, and you can learn more information there. Or we have a real, like, robust Instagram page. So if you're on Instagram and you just search Veggie Buds Club, we'll pop up. And then if you have any further questions, just feel free to send me an email and I'll get back right away awesome. i love uh veggie Buds club is a community you know it's really this community of parents who care about their kids and vegetables and it's been real fun to create that community absolutely yeah. we love the importance of community too and just building those connections so thank you so much for what you're doing and i appreciate your time today and thank you for sharing it was great to have you
Thank you for having me. It was real fun. Absolutely. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.